Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So today I have a Christmas set. It's a short Christmas set and it's kind of, um, the timeline is kind of off. I actually did this Christmas set, I want to say maybe like a week after Christmas. And, you know, she came in and she showed me a picture. I was like, girl, you know these these um, Christmas nails? Like, you sure you want some Christmas nails? Like, I could, I could do you some New Year's nails. She was like, no, I want this. I was like, girl, okay, if you want some Christmas nails, I'll give you some Christmas nails. But, um, I guess, you know, since we still in winter, I guess it really didn't matter. But it was like, baby girl, like, we going to New Year. Like, you don't want no New Year's nails, like, no glitter or nothing. She was like, no. She said, this is what I want. Just make it pink. I'm like, okay, I'll do some Christmas nails. Um... So this is a short set and like I done said a thousand times y'all short sets are so challenging for me because I always pick up larger beads than what I need and it makes the nails look big as fuck and it's just one of those things I have to work on like I'm better at doing longer nails than I am shorter nails. Shorter nails it intimidate a bitch like me because it's like I'm just so used to doing longer nails that when I get to doing a short set I get nervous because it's like okay girl you need to be picking up smaller bees you need to pick up a smaller bees of acrylic and here I go picking up these huge weeds so this pink right here it is an acrylic from dynamic nail supply they have really nice shades of pink I will 100,000% recommend um, dynamic nail supply for any shade of pink they have a huge variety and no, I'm not, this is not sponsored. I'm not a brand ambassador or nothing for them. I just really, really do like their products. And I pretty much have all their acrylics. Um, but yeah, you guys, my brush, it is my Kiara Sky Number 8 Kalinsky Nail Brush. I absolutely love this brush. Um, acrylic hardly ever gets stuck in this brush. Like the, the hairs on this brush is like, it's top notch. Like I would recommend this brush as well. Um, for my monomer, I am using some monomer from Nail Supply Glamour. When I first started um, shopping around for my supplies and stuff, when I first started doing nails, I bought like the gallon, a gallon, and maybe like two 32 ounce bottles of monomer from Nail Supply Glamour just because it was the cheapest one that I found at the time. But now that I've actually, you know, a few months into doing nails, I know that you know it's not always best to go for the cheaper for the cheaper thing you know just because it's cheaper because when it comes to doing nails you want top quality you know and don't get me wrong nail supply glamour they have really good monomer it's just the smell like it's not strong smelling don't get me wrong it's not like me a secret strong because if y'all ever use me a secret monomer y'all know that junk is so freaking strong it's the strongest monomer i've ever used you guys it's just I would rather something a little bit more odorless like young nail yeah like young nails monomer their monomer is really good um, I do want to try not polishes monomer as well because I hear good things about it um, so yeah, you guys and for my clear I am using me a secret clear as always this glitter that I put on the ring finger is just some loose glitter that some loose glitter that I bought off Amazon I'll leave it linked down below no actually no I'm lying I actually got this glitter off Sheen. It came in like a pack of six, maybe for like a dollar fifty. And this white right here, it is a white from Not Polish. It's now one of my favorite whites. I actually used them for the first use their white acrylic for the first time the other day, and I fell in love. It's not like super, super, super white. Like you can pull off like that milky white type of look with it. Like it's not like white, like extra, extra, extra white, but it is a really nice soft white in my opinion.
and I know y'all see how nice this pinky finger is turning out and actually with this set and I do this sometimes depending on my mood after I finish the application on one finger I will like right away go in and encapsulate it I do this sometimes not as much but it really just depends on how I'm feeling I guess where I would just go in and encapsulate right after I do each finger and as you can see it's very close up um, because I wanted you guys to actually see what I was doing um, just so you guys can have like a clear view of what I'm doing and you all can see the application is not so bad once I file and reshape these nails up baby they gonna look real nice like and also the thing about short nails short nails do not have to be so thick you guys short nails does not have to be thick um, because they are shorter nails there's a very very slim chance that they're gonna pop off unless you like you know don't unless you like flood your cuticles and stuff like that or use the wrong size nail tips and they pop off um because of lifting and you know all that air and water getting underneath the nails but for short nails it's a very slim chance that they're gonna break off or anything like that like you know with the longer with longer nails so everything I did to the other hand, I am going to do the same to this hand. I'm just going in with a small clear bead and I'm placing that on her natural nails just to prevent lifting. And when you're using colored acrylic, you don't want to take any chances and still stain the nails. So using the same white color, I'm going to do the same thing like I did on the other hand, like I said. And yeah, so what tips am I using, y'all? Um, shit, let me see. I'm using my Macar half cover nail tips. I love these tips, especially when I'm doing shorter nails because I don't like using my like 2XL, 3XL nail tips because that's a waste of nail tips, y'all. And I've been using them when I do my videos. Um, usually my clients don't really get long, long, super long nails, maybe medium or long, but not like extra long or 2XL, 3XL nails. Um, but for my McCart nail tips, they're my go-to nail tips when it comes to um, my clients that want short nails. And I do use the natural colored ones. I do not own the clear colored ones. But I need to um, go back on Amazon and purchase some more because I am running low. Yeah, ooh, I need to remind my husband that I need some more. I've been trying to get him to buy me some monomer. I mean, I could buy it. It's just, I get more excited when he buys it. <laughs> because, y'all, this is what we do, okay? We have this little thing that we do because my husband, he's into cars and stuff like that. He likes fixing cars and doing all of that. So, he be like, babe, can you buy me this for my car? I'd be like, yeah. And I'd be like, you gonna buy my, um, you gonna buy my acrylics? You gonna buy my brush? Like, <laughs> And y'all know it's crazy. His stuff be more expensive than my stuff. His stuff be more expensive than my stuff. And he like to bribe me, y'all. He likes to bribe me with nail products. He loves to bribe me because he know I'm not going to say no. He know I'm not going to say no. He be like, babe, you could um, pass me the remote and I, I'll get you this, I'll get you this. I'll be like, babe, stop. What you want? Like, <laughs> we so crazy. Um, anyways, y'all, I just wanted to update y'all real fast. Um... How have I been doing? I've been okay. It's the new year. It don't feel like a new year. It feel like a different day. Which it is. Um, this week I work every day this week. I work every day this week. So I don't have like a day off to do a video this week. But that's okay because I do have videos backed up that I can edit and upload for you guys. Also, I've been doing some Valentine's Day sets. I still have so many ideas in my head, you guys. And the month is just going by so freaking fast and I'm getting kind of, you know, nervous because before you know it, Valentine's Day had been done came and passed already. And here I go with all these stats in my mind. Like, y'all, the time is just moving, moving, moving. I'm just not getting enough done. So it's kind of, y'all see the application on that, on that um, pointer finger? <laughs> I'm getting a little better, y'all. Getting a little better. And this set right here, this was actually my second set that I did that day. 
I had four clients back to back to back to back this day. The mom came in, those New Year's set that I posted with the gold and the black. Um, that was the mom, and then she brought her three daughters to get their nails done, which was this set, the milk, the short white set that I posted, and then the other daughter, the other the fourth set that I did was another short white set. I just didn't um post it just because it was the same exact thing, just the the short white set. Alright, so after I'm finished with my acrylic, I am gonna go straight in with my electric file and I'm gonna seal her cuticles and debulk the nails a little bit need be. Just because when it comes to shorter nails, you do not want them to look too thick. You want them to look natural. You want them to look like their nails. Um while still having that nice structure um to the nails. So using my ephra, I am going to go underneath the nails like this just to remove any of the acrylic that may have got stuck and dried up under there when I was um, removing the excess acrylic at the tip of the nail. Um, and I don't have my e-file too high. It's maybe at 3000 RPMs, no less, no higher than that. Uh, oh shit, my daughter is knocked the hell out. Y'all thought she was watching her tablet right next to me. She is knocked out. Oh baby. Um, so yeah. I usually do my e-file first and then I go with my hand file and I will be using my 180 degree hand file today off of Amazon. I'll leave everything linked down below in the description box. Um, my drill bit, it is my 5-in-1 drill bit. It's my favorite drill bit to use when I am sealing my cuticles just because I want to get as close to the cuticle as possible without, you know, like cutting my client or anything like that. So I do recommend getting a safety bit when it comes to um, sealing your client's cuticles. Unless you're like a professional when it comes to the e-file, then you know you can use anything—a taper, barrel, drill bit, or anything like that that you choose to use. But me, I'm not gonna take no chances, so I'm gonna stick with my safety bit. Um, I'm really proud of this application. Like it turned out okay. Like it wasn't too bad, but there's still plenty of room for improvement. It's just crazy, like coming back, looking back from when I my very first set one that I did on somebody. It was a short set, and those nails were so freaking thick, like they were really thick. So I'm proud of myself, y'all, and I just cannot wait to see how much growth and progression I make in the year 2023. Um. So yeah, you guys. I know a lot of people that watch my videos, they're beginner nail techs. I'm not even gonna say nail te nail techs because I don't I don't label myself as a nail tech. I'm not licensed or anything like that. I'm more of like a, a content creator, a nail enthusiast that just enjoy doing nails. Like I like doing my own nails. I like making content. Like I feel like I'm not gonna label myself a nail tech because I don't want nobody to be like, bitch, like you giving out wrong information and you sitting here calling yourself up. Pump your brakes, sweetheart. I'm not a nail tech. I'm a nail enthusiast, which means everything, every information and stuff that I disclose is stuff that I learn from personal experience and, you know, shit that I do and what works for me. So, yeah, I don't need nobody down in my comment section talking about some, um, well, that's not what they taught me in school. That's not, well, good for you, baby. Kudos. Like, you want a cookie? Like, what you want me to tell you? <laughs> like, to eat his own. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna shape these nails up and I'm making sure that I hold my nail straight to the nail so um, I get that nice, crisp, straight line. Also, when you are finished filing the nails, y'all, and this is a very important step, you do not want to skip this, you're gonna hold their hands from their perspective and file that way. So, because, you know, when you're filing their nails, like how I'm doing right here from this angle, right here, um, from this position, you're not looking at the nails from their cli from your client's perspective. So, your client will, you know, look at their nails and be like, sis, that one is crooked. Or, that one's not filed straight. And you're going to be like, no, girl, your finger do that. <laughs> your finger do that. So, you just always make sure that you flip their hands around and you file because you'll be so surprised at how uneven your nails are even if it's off by like 0.2 inches like it's best to always do that step so um i don't know if you guys see but my nails they're not thick they look really nice 
So I'm just going to spray it with some alcohol and go with my manicure brush and scrub off all of that dust. I know some people, you know, let their clients go wash their hands and scrub it, but um, I like to do it myself because, um, I don't know, it's just something that I do. I guess I don't, it's faster for me. So I'm just going to top coat the these two middle fingers because I will be doing a sweater design, a 3D sweater with some, um, loose glitter sprinkle on top damn I don't have the picture that she showed me it was basically the same design that I did here except the picture that she showed me was blue so everything that was blue I made it pink on my set also I changed a few things I added the glitter there was no glitter on that set and I added the plaid design there is no plaid design on that set so I am using my not polished gel liner and, and this is the white one obviously um, and I'm just going to do my quick little sweater design and then I'm going to go over with some fine loose glitter that I bought off Amazon and I'm going to sprinkle that on top. I'm not going to wipe it off until I cure it because you don't want to smudge that gel polish because baby you'll be pissed. Yes I've made that mistake before the first time I did something like this. Um, so yeah you guys, everything will be linked down in the description box below and everything I do to one hand I'm doing exactly the same to the other hand. Hey y'all, tell me how I'm editing this, this video y'all. It's like three videos that I'm editing right now at the same time. And I'm editing the video, editing the video and I'm like bitch you can see my whole reflection in this damn lamp. So y'all please do not come for me because my hair is not done or not. <laughs> y'all, y'all could dead ass see my reflection in the lamp. Like I'm editing and I really had to like pause the video because bitch is that me in the reflection? Yes girl, like they know they did wrong. Like <laughs> I'm like no, like my double chin is like ooh, like my <laughs> y'all gonna see just hold on. Don't. I'm not saying go looking for my reflection in the lamp now because I don't want nobody to talk about me even though I really don't care. But listen, the girl be looking rough. Y'all know if y'all do nails, then you know. As a nail, as a person that do people nails, you do not want to put on like no nice clothes. Like I be throwing on a t-shirt or I be throwing my little nightgown and I take my clients because dust going to get all over you and all that. And when I be wiping the gel polish, I wipe it right on my shirt, right on my pants. Like, I do not be current. So, yeah, y'all. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about me. So, for this now, I'm just going to do, like, a little... I don't know what this is. I just did something. Um, This now, right here, I'm going to be doing that plaid design. And this was the first time I'm doing something like this. I'm not the best when it comes to straight lines. Because, um, I think I'm a little... I don't know. And then, oh, she moved her finger, y'all. She moved her finger. And the whole time, I'm like, Jasmine, do not move your finger. Jasmine, do not move your finger. Jasmine, she just kept twitching and twitching and moving. And, and, and I'm just like, girl, I leave it just like this now. You, okay. So after I do this white line, I am going to cure it for 60 seconds before I go in with my black liner. Just so the colors don't smudge. Um, and this is my liner from Not Polish. It very, 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 very nice gel liners. I would definitely recommend them. And y'all be doing the little tricks y'all be telling me to do when y'all do the line work where you hold your breath and do the straight line. But it don't work for me like a bitch be holding her breath too goddamn long. It be making me want to fart. So I don't do that one no more. I just draw the line and if it's crooked, it's crooked. Like nail art is something that is just so hard for me. It's, I guess, and you know it's so freaking crazy y'all. I know how to draw so good. I got it from my um sperm donor 
my father, my biological father. But when it comes to, I've never been a fan of painting. Painting is just so hard to me. I don't know why. And then doing it on nails, like it's just not. Y'all that look so cute. That look so cute. But yeah, it's just so hard for me. Like I just. I, I just want to, I want to keep practicing, keep practicing. I made it, um, I made it one of my nail goals to practice my nail art, more hand paint art when it comes to nails, just because I feel like that's something that I want to learn to do, just so I can get more creative and put out more intricate sets. So this right here is my little snowflake and I know you see that little dot right there that's not connected to nothing and y'all I just left it just like that and poured this poured the stuff over it because it just wasn't I don't know why it's so hard for me. I like I said line work is not my it's not my area of expertise. Like it's just hard for me. Um so I'm just gonna top coat these thumbs and I am using my eye gel beauty no cleanse top coat for this. And then I'm going to carry my lamp for 60 seconds. I usually top coat twice. It's actually something I started doing. So I'm going to top coat these nails. And I know you see she had white polish all over her. That's because she kept moving when I told her not to move. Like she just kept moving. So I got all over her. So I just said, girl, you just going to have to let it do what it do. Because, yeah, you, you give me extra work, baby girl. Now I'm going to use my cuticle oil. This is my not polished cuticle oil. I really like this cuticle oil. It's thick. It is on the thicker side. And it's a little greasy. It's a little greasy, but it smells real nice. I'm gonna cuticle oil up her hands, her cuticles, and then we're gonna take the pictures, you guys. Um, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this short set, and I'll see you guys in my next video.